So today we have the ULT Field 1. It's Sony their new approach or attempt to get out speakers that are better, that are more new, that are a bit redesigned. There are a few things I noticed with the speaker. First up, the tuning is definitely different than their other speakers from the past. So its bass performance is definitely more powerful. But it still is a bit too much to the edge of the upper side for me. So this means that like I have seen speakers of this size that at least try to do a bit more in the deepness. And with this one it's still a bit focused on the upper bass side. I just don't understand why some people say it's now amazing. It's a good speaker but yeah, this bass thing is something that Sony just then yeah, can't really get right. You can use a custom EQ, you can improve it a little bit but then you do lose this like UT power output so it's not as powerful sounding as with this built-in EQ. The funny thing with the speaker as well is that yeah, this cable or this cord you have you can use it like this to yeah, take it with you. You can also like keep it like this and then you can hang it on. It is a cool design I have to be honest it's more like futuristic. I do like the openings on the side so you can use it like this and still have the air of your passive radiators moving. One downside maybe that's something other brands are also doing. I didn't expect Sony to do this but yeah they have ditched the audio ports and it's only USB-C port now. So they definitely are following the ABL pad. So here's some audio samples so you can see yourself how it performs a bit but keep in mind our recordings are always a bit different than real life scenarios. So yeah. I tried to my best to get my microphone best tuned for every scenario, but it is a difficulty. Again, not a bad speaker. It's just maybe yeah, a bit too much I overhyped again, like JBL also does with their speakers.
on and go, let go! So yeah, the Sony ULT Field 1 is a fine speaker. Its price is maybe the biggest problem when we talk about competition. It shows me around similar price, 130, 140 euros. This one is even cheaper, the Xiaomi ASM one. This one is like 120 euros. You do need to import these two speakers, but they do work fine with Bluetooth. And then you have cheaper options. Mifa Waldwat. Not a lot of YouTubers like this speaker. I don't understand it because, especially with the latest update, it's a fine speaker. Yes, it ain't high quality and everything, but same goes with the Sony. It's not really fine detail as well. So yeah, this one is like 60, 70 euros, so a lot cheaper. But its base performance is definitely more on a deepness side because of its racetrack drive as well. And then we have a speaker that's actually, I would say, the closest to the Sony. The Xdobo X8 third generation. This Xdobo is not only very, I would say, tuned on natural sound, it also has a nice bass performance, I would say. So I do will do a comparison between these two as first, and then I will see, I think I will do a comparison like with the Xiaomi as well and the UB Plus. These two, I'm not sure because they are a bit different in like tuning and everything and a bit different in overall like People won't yeah, buy these that fast if they want to look at this kind of speaker. So again, not a bad attempt from Sony, but it's definitely a very competition market. So yeah, it's maybe not the best for the price.